Hi. So Paul Anthony Short asked a question in my Facebook group, my Irish Magic and Spirituality Facebook group, asked a question on pagan greetings, because the reason that this is kind of an issue for us in Ireland and uh, speaking the Irish language is that there are the standard greeting, if you like, the the language greeting would be Dirich, which is God be with you. And that would have very Catholic connotations because of the culture and the, you know, the, the heritage that we have in, on the island currently. And while that's changing and there are some more kind of modern and some more informal ways of greeting someone, Paul asked specifically if there were, you know, pagan friendly forms of greeting and address within the language and what they might be. So we got some great comments on that and because one of the, the things that I'm asked for fairly regularly is for pronunciation guides, then I thought that I would uh, write some of those out and tell you how I would pronounce them. Now, this is given with the absolute proviso and you know addendums and caveats and all the rest of it that I am not an Irish language scholar. I'm just somebody who grew up in Ireland. I have standard, uh, bog standard school Irish that is just this kind of mixture of dialects. So it could be kind of pronunciation from any dialect and different dialects will have very different pronunciation. So you need to be very aware of all that and make sure that you're not taking anything that I say as complete standard. But I also know that it is very useful for people who didn't grow up the way I grew up to have and with the, the language and the culture kind of as part of the, the background noise, it is useful to hear these things said when you've only ever seen them written down. So that is my intent with this video and possibly other videos. If you have other things, pagan related things, there are lots of Irish language pronunciation guides online, on the internet, all the rest of it, and they're very easy to find. But if you have pagan specific language or words or sentences that you want, I don't do translation, but I will absolutely, you know, read shit out for you if you would like that. So do post them in the comments and if we get some, then I'll do another video. How's that? So I'm just going to show you, uh, if you can see, I have a very fancy system here, my bullet journal, and you can see that I've written down some of the uh, comments and suggestions that we got. So you can pause that video and um, we're very high tech over here, but I do find that it's important to write things down in your physical handwriting because it does help it get through. We are still, my generation certainly is still a non-tech generation. You know, it's, it's hand-eye coordination and it's making sure that uh, the things that we write down uh, get into our brains that way. So I'm just going to start, as I said, the, the standard greeting would be Diagwich, which means God be with you. And again, the connotations of that would be quite Catholic in Ireland. So my personal alternative, I'm going to give you a couple of other alternatives, but my personal alternative has always been to respect the existing paradigm because, you know, this is this is our culture. This is our heritage. You can't just come in and, you know, swirl things up and, and do things willy nilly. Uh, when you're dealing with other people, it pays to be respectful of the existing culture, you know, and if I'm dealing with other pagans, then it's a different situation. But when I'm out and about in Ireland, if I wanted to greet somebody in Ireland, my personal compromise has always been to say, do ye a gwich, which means uh, may your God be with you. And like I said, I find that very respectful, uh, personally respectful of anybody who may or may not be Catholic, could be Muslim, could be Islam, you know, could be Buddhist, could be pagan, could be any other, whatever. And it's still respecting your God. Now, obviously that doesn't work for atheists, but you know, can't all be perfect. So there are some alternatives as well. So I would say do ye a gwich, and the dia is God and yea is D-H-I-A. And because it's a mo or a do, it gets uh, the lenition, which is a shevu, 
and I don't really understand the grammar rules 100%, but I know that that goes in there. So, the which. Another alternative is the which or do ye which, which would be God's be with you or your God's be with you. You could also say bandia which, which would be goddess, may the goddess be with you. Do ye hagwit, may your gods be with you. And then we get, you know, standard things like majinwa, ihawa, good morning, good night. And kain kwe wiltu, how are you? Uh, it sounds quite formal when you write it down. Kain kwe wiltu, how are you? Uh, it's just, it's more like, how are you? You know, so uh, just going through my list here, Kade on scale came up and that's an interesting one because that's actually a very, very ancient form of greeting. Uh, asking somebody about the story or have you any stories. So ain scale would be any story or on will ain scale a gut. Have you any story? Cain scale. What's the story? Or just scale, scale bud, story bud. And, oh, let me see what else, what else, what else. Kunasatatu, I think I said, how are you? This is very, very informal and, um, you know, maybe unprofessional of me. But it is just to give people uh, a helping hand if they want to pronounce the Irish language that they see written down. Uh, one of the ones that uh, my friend Orla actually suggested was Cain Schlee in a will to, which I really like. Uh, it literally means in what way are you? And Schlee is even, it's almost like asking, you know, how's your journey going? Because Schlee, S-L-I father, is very much a um, like a pathway or a, like a journey, or like it can be a physical way, but it's also your, it, it kind of represents your, your journey, your, you know, your, your way through life as well. So, um, Cainshley and Awiltu is, as I said, in what way are you? And th there's kind of a whole lot going on there, which I really like. So, finding a way to express yourself and to greet somebody, Oskelga, in Irish is a very good kind of first step and you know for pagans who are looking at it if you're looking at the standard greetings it might be kind of off-putting if it's just Diagwich or you know the standard response to that is Dias Murgwich which is may God and Mary be with you too uh, which would be the response and like I said that can be quite off-putting so there's some alternatives and if you have any other suggestions or things that you would like pronounced, like I said, I don't do translation. I'm shit at grammar. So take everything I say with a pinch of salt. But if it's helpful to you, then absolutely use it, share it, subscribe, do all the usual things. And don't forget to join my mailing list, which is at Laura O'Brien forward slash, sorry, Laura O'Brien dot net forward slash community, community which will um, give you regular Irish resources, including Irish language resources. So <clears throat> like, subscribe, share, join, win, slán. <laughs>